Hello dear friends, Grandmaster Sega Shipoff is greeting you again today. I'm commenting the now thrive round game of the Vacancy 2009 tournament. In the game of the leaders, I'm interested in the opening intrigue. Moxie Sound is principally supporting the Shivinian variation of the Sicilian defense, and Karakin is a great master of analysis. So let's see who is holding the bigger stone in their hand today. Here it is, the Shivinian variation. Black is building a solid pawn wall on the 6th row. A very popular plan of attack which completely copies the English attack of that knight of variation. The pawn of 3 becomes the support pawn. It defends the pawn e4 and supports the push g4. Black isn't afraid of white's mating attack. With g4, g5, white is planning to push away the knight f6, which plays a big role in the battle for the center. Black isn't planning to retreat. Of course, all of this is in theory. The loss of the pawn g5 doesn't worry black. The pawn g5 is also under attack, but the white king is in the center for now. White gave up the pawn and is solely preparing an attack. A prophylactic move of an answer. White's pressure down the G vertical is promising to become serious. The heavy weaponry is now on the attacking position. A novelty. A surprisingly quick answer. Correct. The material equality is back, but it's too early to surely say that the chances are equal. Kriakin is thinking. Looks like the best way to keep the pressure. Striving to play safer. The center is clearing it up. As it often happens in this variation, the imitation of an attack on the king's side lets him become some very successful on the queen's side. The pawn b7 is under attack. Mopsy Sound is hurrying his opponent. White isn't worried about the open b vertical. Really, no playing down a pawn. Looks like the knight is up on f6 to not worry about the square h7. Looks like the Ukrainian Grandmaster was also thinking about that, the frustrating defense on the, of the pawn h7. The beginning of the big race. This isn't just a window, it's the first step for a potential fast pawn. Mopsitan plays extremely careful, even in such a difficult position. The original move of the rook. For example, it can go to b7 through b5. A window of an answer, and also a preparation to the movement of the pawns. Black will probably bet on the side fast pawn. A subtle moment. Why push the white king forward? In the ending, that can be beneficial for white. So, black is controlling the 7th horizontal. White is unmercifully strengthening on the queen's side. His chances are way higher. You won't believe it, but in analysis, four queens are working. Exactly. The Ukrainian Grandmaster obviously worked in this line. Now black can, can't afford any mistakes. The best defense. Forced, but not weaker because of that fact. The promised four queens are close by. And still the race. Here are the consequences of the harmful for black check on d1. The white king is entering the battle. The idea here is clear, hide from the checks. For now, black is a little behind in the race of the past pawns, but he can be saved by the perpetual check for the white king. The queen is forced to leave the more beneficial position than the center, otherwise it won't be possible to move the pawn to b7. Should black take the pawn f3? I think the tempo is more important than that capture. Mopsisan agreed with me. Now Karakin offers the opponent the pawn b2 as a gift. No matter how strange that sounds, black has a right to take that gift. But how can you decide to take such an important step on the time control move? Didn't risk it. I studied this variation very deeply. Black will have to find many subtle moves. Mopsisad has some hard problems in front of him. The return of the queen to the center lets white strengthen the position a little bit. That's a beneficial move of the queen from c8 to c5. The rule is very simple. The more squares the queen is controlling, the better it's positioned. 
The checks are ending. The pawns are on the threshold of becoming queens. White is keeping the advantage since he has since he has a perspective. Passed pawn, that same one that was taken on move forty. And here the checks ended. Next in line is the push b5, b6. The awaited decline from the trade. Black has no constructive ideas. The final of this game is close. An imitation of the activity is better than nothing. The path is open now. Mosasan is not trying much. It won't be possible to save himself without the help of the opponent. The last desperate chance. An elegant period of the White King is finished. There are no more checks. Black resigns. A wonderful game and a well-deserved win by Sergei Karakin. He suddenly used the smallest mistakes of the opponent and returned him the leading position on the scoreboard. Bravo! Again for you, dear friends, or Grandmaster Sergei Shipov. See you tomorrow and have a good day.